Okay, so part of our hands-on work will be doing HTML, CSS, and a little JavaScript. And you're going to use a site um, called Code Academy, and you'll use this particular course, the HTML and CSS, to start, and then we'll finish up almost all of it. There'll be some we miss. You could definitely do your own on your own if you want, and then we'll do some JavaScript later. But this video will serve to help you just through the process and what you need and how Code Academy works. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is set up an account. I already have um, at least the site loaded up here in another tab and I want to show you that you can use your Google login which I recommend uh, since you already have it for this class. Uh, you could use Facebook, you could use GitHub. I'm guessing most of you will not have a GitHub account, although that's something we'll do later in the course. So then once you sign up, um, just go through the process and sign up. Then, and I'm going to go ahead and move back to Chrome, um, then you can click on this link and it'll take you right to the course that we're going to do. And in this case, here it is. So we will complete, um, you'll see each week where I tell you which to complete. And so what I want to do is here is just give you an overview of kind of how Code Academy works so that you get at least because when you're, you know, this will just help you more easily navigate the site. Um, so there's like here it says one fundamental. So if you look in my instruction, it's really important to understand what I'm asking you to do because there'll be some things in Code Academy that I won't want you to complete, mostly because they're paid features and we're just using the free part of the site. So in, uh, so in this case, I'm saying number one, HTML fundamentals, complete all nine steps in structure. Okay, so again, every time you do a Code Academy, make sure you read carefully what I ask for. And then the last part of this is stuff you've already done, which is uploading. And then you do have to hit do some, uh, when you hit a reply here, you have to 150 words. Talk about your experience. You know, some of this is new to you. Some of this is not just your experience of doing, of doing completing the work. And then the reply to two fellow students. I am going to modify this to make sure the minimum of 75 words is done for each reply because I want them to be substantive, meaning I want them to be of substance. Okay, so now let's go back here. So now that you know what to do, I want to show you what this will look like. Because every week it will be different, but the process itself is the same. So for this first week, you're only going to complete structure. And don't let it throw you off that there's other things listed. All you have to complete is structure, okay? And um, so you can see that I've already completed it. And the way I know is there's 100% over here. And so you'll, we'll come back in a minute and I'll show you that this is the place you take a print screen, upload it to the shared with everyone, and then provide a link into Canvas, okay? But I want to just go into this one just to show you. Even though I've completed it, I can still go back into it and at least look at it to give you just some, you know, here's what, here's how it works. So the screen is broken into three parts. So here's where they tell you, um, t uh, give you the instruct, give you the concept of what you're learning. Right here's about HTML, and then if you scroll on down, you'll get the instruction. Right. So for each step, so in this case, there's nine steps. Some steps, in this case specifically, the last one will have multiple steps or multiple things you have to do to complete that step. And you'll see this too, by the way, when you're doing the MyIT lab. Sometimes it'll be one thing, sometimes it'll be multiple things you have to complete to get the step done. But in this case, the first one, right? And the other thing is, by the way, you can actually come in here and look at the not, you know, here's the uh, what you're doing for every nine. And if you do uh, complete a step and you have to stop and leave and come back to it later, it does, uh, it does save where you're at. Um, so that's a great thing. Okay, so in here, so going back, so we have the learn part, which I recommend you scan over, then the instruction part tells you what to do. So then you take what it wants you to do, and this is your code editor. When they refer to the code editor, they mean this area. And then this is the output that when you hit run, generates the output. So as an example, I'll just put example here and just show you. So when I hit run, then it modifies that. So you're actually looking at the, what, when you code it, what the result is, okay? And then when you complete it, 
that step then you can move to the next one okay so that's how you move through this now the next one is you read the instruction right you do the step that it wants you to do you hit run if you get it right then go on into the next one so you won't see the next until you've completed this step so read code run if you get it right uh, do next if you don't modify the code and it will give you like let me give you an example if I was because in on the head tag it'll give you um, oh it should oh actually it is giving me some it's giving me a little red indicator up here this indicates this line is in error right and it even tells you the tag must be paired with an opening tag so um, that's you'll get it up here or you'll get it down in this area you'll get it various places there is help uh, as well but I'll show you some help I'm gonna provide as well so I'm gonna move real quickly now that we've talked about how this is laid out I'm gonna move to the last one just to show you how it very very often is gonna be different because what the last one will have you do is actually several steps it's basically taking all the things that you've learned and putting it in one exercise at the end so then you're doing each step so this in this case it takes six you have to do six things and then when you hit run then at that point right you've completed the assignment okay so uh, I want you to know that how this works there is a there is some help in here there's a whole forum in there if you need it remember we do have you uh, the ability to chat with our students and myself when you get stuck but having said all that back over here what I also do is I provide each week a print screen of each step okay so if you click on here what you will get is a print screen of the steps so here are the steps for this week so if you click on here you can see the code that I wrote for each one and um, this is for your reference so when you get stuck on these first couple ones they're I think they're fairly straightforward as we get further into it, it comes a little more complicated but these are just help uh, to help you through some students actually have this I don't want to look at the steps I want to do it on my own and I think that's a good attitude but I also don't want you to spend a lot of time here when you can get some additional help if you need it okay all right so that I've talked about the print okay so let's end with the print screen here so let me go back so once you've finished you will get that hundred percent right so I'm gonna scroll down through here so in this case when you finish this one you will see that hundred percent now I'm on a Mac and you've learned how to take a print screen but you can just take a print screen here and make sure you include a couple of things and I'll just go ahead if you can see it here there's really a couple of things I want my uh, photo with my my account with my photo in it which by the way I haven't talked about that but you do need to put a photo up on your account I'll show you that in a second and then all you need to do is take that print screen showing the item that you've completed with your um, profile in here then upload it into drive place it into the discussion board and do you then your writing component of this okay so I didn't go over that so let me go back over here you can view your profile um, you can come into here and by the way this is another where uh, place that you would see badges but I'm actually um, not gonna have you print badges I'm gonna have you print the percentage uh, for that item complete but it, I believe it's in here uh, that you can come in and maybe it's your account instead of your profile let's go I'm in the wrong one let's go to my account basic info about me oh there we go profile photos right so choose a profile photo and it'd be preferable if you choose the same one you're using for blackboard or for canvas that way I can uh, get to know your photos at least your profile photos okay that's it uh, have fun with this uh, you can see uh, we do this every week except for I think three weeks that we do other stuff but almost every week for the hands-on work we do Code Academy. so I hope you enjoy it talk to you later bye